Hello everyone. Once again, as has been happening almost every day for the last year and a half, tragedy struck in uh, Ukraine as um, Russian invaders <clears throat> hit the city center in the historic Ukrainian city of Chernihiv. At the same time, around the same time, <clears throat> Ukrainian forces struck a uh, military airfield in the Novgorod region of Russia. Um, there's been a, a fire there. Uh, I think one airplane got damaged and there were no casualties. However, Russian uh, media presented this as... A terrorist attack, decrying the abuse they're taking from Ukrainians. And here's what they did in Chernihiv. So this is from one of my Ukrainian sources. I'll translate. Uh, <clears throat> seven people were com confirmed um, dead. Uh, there are 90 wounded. Of those, 10 are the policemen and 12 are children. 25 people are hospitalized. <clears throat> a 12-year-old girl has been urgently uh, moved to Kiev because she is in critical condition. Uh, <clears throat> one of the surrounding buildings next to the uh, site of the rocket hit uh, caught fire, fortunately, it was just on the roof, and um, the uh, emergency services there very quickly put it out. So where are the cries of indignation? Where are the accusations toward Russia for what they did? So if Ukraine hits a valid military target of the country invading them right now and, and uh, damages one military airplane, that's a terrorist act. What do you call this? What do you call this? Where are you? UN, human rights organizations, Amnesty International, Red Cross. Where is everybody? Um, I think this was in New York Times. And um, this article talks about the military casualties. Stating that uh, between Ukraine and Russia, um, the number of uh, soldiers who died in this war is somewhere around half a million. Now, I, I applaud the source. Uh, they did say that considering the nature of the flow of information during wartime, it is very difficult to get the exact numbers. So this is, you know as good an estimate as they can come up with based on the observations, reports, etc., etc. One of the things to remember is that Russia has been purposely, intentionally suppressing the number of their military casualties and forbade the families of the dead soldiers to talk about it to anyone to acknowledge they did even had somebody fighting in Ukraine. So there's that. Keep that in mind. We haven't done one of these in a while. So this is Reuters um, summary that they post fairly regularly. I think at least once a week, if not more often. So this is the cost to civilians. So we just discussed the cost to the military, this is the cost to civilians. As far as we know, it's uh, over 62,000 people dead, uh, at least 61,000 wounded, 15,000 missing. And that number is likely to be higher because, again, there, there was a lot of cover-up uh, with Russians basically... Um, forcibly deporting people out of Ukraine. So that 15,000 is likely very low. Displaced 17 million people. Think about it. 
17 million is 39.5% of Ukraine's total population. So if we were to translate that, for example, to U.S. population uh, proportionately, that would mean 126 million people would be displaced if this was happening in the U.S. At least 140,000 buildings destroyed. Many of them were historic landmarks.